way back in 2006 when i started my career in the biotech sector we were a generation of jealous biotechnologists now why do i say jealous the reason is because in our era we were seeing the it people getting paid highly while biotech people were being paid less and biotech meant more of wet lab and very less dry lab but fast forward to 2024 that's 18 or 19 years ahead what i see is finally our investments into biotech sector is paying off we are realizing that now it can be merged with bt and then we proudly call it as bio it and one of the offspring of that is artificial intelligence and machine learning so the question to be asked today is not that can ai be applied in biology the question is how and where we can apply artificial intelligence in biology so today i thought why not have a one on one conversation with you to let you know that there are more than 14 biotech areas where you can apply artificial intelligence into doing multiple new things automating things optimizing experiments and achieving better results so let me share a list with you which will help you understand what exactly we can do with ai using this new technology artificial intelligence and machine learning in biology now to start with we have genomics and transcriptomics now in this you can do sequence analysis and annotation you can do gene expression and profiling you can do identifying the genetic variations and mutations then under proteomics you can do protein structure prediction protein protein interaction networks post translational modifications under systems biology you can do modeling biological systems and pathways you can integrate omics analysis you can do cellular and molecular simulations that's what molecular dynamic simulation which we saw last week when we launched the molecular dynamic simulation workshop then under drug discovery and development we can work do virtual screening and molecular docking predicting drug target interactions optimizing drug formulations and delivery drug repurposing all of this we can do under drug discovery followed by that we can do medical imaging and diagnostics now this is a burning area highly trending area where we are doing image analysis for disease detection radiomics and radio genomics pathology Im image analysis now under personalized medicine we can predict patient responses to treatments biomarker discovery tailoring therapies based on genetic profiles epidemiology and public health under this we can do disease outbreak prediction we can predict if covid is going to happen in the future and when and how we can prevent it we will be able to analyze health data we will be able to model the spread of infectious disease and understand in which area it will spread fast and we can have vaccines supplied to that area first we come to agricultural biotechnology where we can predict the crop yield we can detect the plant diseases we can use genomic selection in breeding programs we, then we come to environmental biology where we can do biodiversity monitoring using artificial intelligence and machine learning then we can do ecosystem modeling climate change impact assessment now comes neuroscience a very important and interesting field where you can do brain imaging analysis there you can also do neural network simulations studying neurological disorders rare disorders and mind you rare disorders are highly paid jobs right now in new york we have startups we have which are paying in crores under this uh, neurological disorders then in microbiology we can apply on metagenomics and microbiome analysis pathogen identification antibiotic resistance and prediction followed by that we come to synthetic biology now which is the 12th field here we can design synthetic gene circuits we can model synthetic organisms and predict synthetic gene expression now under the 13th field which is evolutionary biology we can do phylogenetic analysis evolutionary pathway prediction studying evolutionary dynamics followed by that last but not the least is biophysics now under biophysics we can do molecular dynamic simulation which i told you earlier protein folding studies and studying the biomolecular interaction now all of these under these 14 research areas can be done by you and you can be earning the it salary while still applying the biotech knowledge you will not believe i am getting requests from it professionals from united states 
coming to biotechnica and taking training on ai ml in biology so they lack the biology side of it you are lacking the ai side of it why not learn the ai side of it you already have the knowledge base and apply that and now that i told you 14 different research areas in which you can apply artificial intelligence and machine learning and change the way biotechnology is pursued practiced and propagated so what are you waiting for join biotechnica's ai in biology training program with projects and research paper publication assistance and we are also giving away your you a work experience letter and recommendation letter if you are good in that so this is all about ai in biology applications now if you have any questions feel free to comment down and i would personally try to reply them otherwise you can email me at shekhar@biotechnica.org at remember if you miss this wave you will always regret because this wave it comes once in 100 years and if we are able to capitalize on this you will have a successful career in bio it all the best take care bye